Hello, 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 sweet loves. Welcome back to Sweet Time Muted. I thank you guys for tapping in with your girl's sweets, okay? To my new subscribers, I thank you, thank you, thank you for joining the Sweet Time Muted Soul Tribe, baby. To my returning subscribers, you already know how we do what we do when we do what we do. But I appreciate your love and your loyalty. I appreciate you for staying down and tapping in with your girl's sweets, okay? I hope you guys are having a blessed and safe day. Okay, happy Sunday to each and every one of you. Take the time out that you need for you today. If that calls for you taking a little bit of extra rest, then so be it. Okay, ain't nothing wrong with that. Do not shortchange yourself, okay? But we're going to tap right into the energy and see what it is that spirit has for my sweet love. Holy Spirit, I surrender my mind, body, and spirit to you in this moment. I ask that you use me as you live. Use me as a vessel to convey the messages that you need to be conveyed to my sweet loves. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh. Okay. And that's one stuck in my head. Do you want a revolution? Woo -woo. All right, so... Let's go with the ancestors. See what the ancestors got to say out the gate today, okay? Sweetheart, don't let, ever let anyone silence you, okay? One message, Spirit. Two, two. Let me take two. There we go. I said two. You are never alone, my dear, even in the darkest hour on the coldest night. We are right by your side. <laughs> Just was talking about the cold. Change is coming. Can you handle it? We only ask because your life is about to transform. Okay? So, Spirit asking you, listen, you think you're alone, but you're not alone, sweet love. Okay? You're not alone. Okay? I'm here with Jada Kiss by your side, okay? You don't even know it. Well, you know, but you don't, you don't see it. So it's like, is it really what I think it is, okay? It is, and it is, okay? But a change is coming, and Spirit is asking you, can you handle it? Can you handle this change that's coming, okay? Because look, bottom of the deck, the sun, things are about to get spicy, okay? Good times, happy times, the empress, okay? Good times, and I just seen it again as I'm shuffling, okay? Good times are near for you. So let's see. Someone could be, yeah, I feel like someone could have been manifesting something, possibly manifesting something new, especially with the five of pentacles here, and just like gave up possibly on an idea or an endeavor. Or this is what someone's wanting you to do or, or you know. Ooh. Yeah, look. Or some sort of opportunity. So you could have been manifesting something. There could have been something you wanted to do, an option, an idea. But someone put their bond down, laid that that yeah, that the power that they had to create. It's so like they put it to rest and they got stuck in their head. Maybe you have too many choices. You know, that's sometimes that's possible where you don't know which one to choose. Confirmation with the camera beeping. I can see that, you know. Where just think in a world where there's it's, you live in a world of opportunities, you can do anything, 
confirmation with the Ace of Wands here. Okay, you can kind of manifest anything it is that your heart desires and you have so many choices that someone that looked like got stuck in their head about it and just kind of gave up. Gave up taking a risk. Taking a risk on themselves. Now, this could be due to a lot of, you know, somebody having a lot of things on their plate, a lot of responsibilities to where so someone can't focus on manifesting. That's also um, a possibility. But I mean, the card right before it is change is coming. Can you handle it? We only ask because your life is about to transform. So whatever this frustration is, this clouded judgment, because this definitely does give me clouded judgment. Which is why someone may not be able to manifest whatever this one opportunity is or get started on one specific thing. Okay, because so it's a lot. <laughs> they have a lot of options. Yeah, look again at the bottom of the deck. Uh, Ace of Wands. Look, privileged lady in reverse. Right on top of the message from the ancestors, change is coming. Can you handle it? We only ask because your life is about to transform. So if you've been feeling like, you know, left out in the cold possibly with the privileged lady in reverse, someone doesn't feel like they're privileged. Like they, like, someone could feel left out in the cold from spirit in so many ways. You take away it resonates. Okay. Only you know. Could be like, Spirit, you keep saying I'm supposed to be by the divine, but what's going on? I don't see nothing going on. But even over here, if you guys see, this card was up here since yesterday. And even in me doing the reading, I don't know. I just didn't. It wasn't in my way. It didn't, I wasn't guided to take it down. But either way, number eight, okay? I am successful. Your talent for setting and reaching goals is like no other. You are self-sufficient and capable of achieving your ambitions. Eight representing the ebb and flow, the infinite loop of creation. I am successful, okay? So someone is successful. Someone knows that they're successful, but they may not be feeling that success at this time, okay? Could be because they're having a hard time focusing in on whatever it is that they're supposed to be manifesting. This could be due to them having a lot on their plate. This could be due to them having so many options when it comes to taking risks in different endeavors. Okay? But either way it goes, changes come into that. So if you're stuck in your head, you're about to get out of your head. Okay? Confirmation with that camera beeping. She, she didn't give me socks. You don't want socks? Okay, your coat is there. Get it? Don't come over to find what I'm going to say. So, excuse me. I'm recording. Oh, yeah, you could put them on. Okay, yeah, look what I said. Someone feels like there's no justice, there's no adjudication. Okay, there's no justice. Stop now, the... also, if there could be legal issues here, I mean, for the most part, though, it's legal issues that are not going to happen. So maybe if you were considering, for whatever reason, I don't know, taking somebody to court, okay, you may not be doing that. Or maybe you're on the other end of the spectrum. Maybe someone may have been taking you to court for some reason, okay? Yeah, this could have been a concern. This is, don't worry about it. It's not going to happen. Yeah, look, message of concern. It's not going to happen. 
Mm-hmm. Change, yeah. So with this change in a home, if you was worried about um, court, with the home situation, something there is going to change. And it may not, that may not be the end result. Yeah, look, message. Yeah, confirmation message. Home and marriage. I don't know what this marriage is about. For some, it could be a home that you lived in with your partner. Or it could be a family setting. Take away resonates. Okay. But adjudication is in reverse. So if you're concerned about that, you don't have to be. Why? Again, confirmation, change, okay? Change, change is coming. Can you handle it? We only ask because your life is about to transform. So confirmation with that concern and the nine of swords, if you were in your head about anything, spirit is reassuring you that that's going to change, okay? Your worries and your fears, your concerns, you don't know how they're going to come to, oh, thank you, spirit, okay? You don't know how they're going to come to an end with the coffin here, but they're going to come to an end, okay? For who? A main male, okay? So whatever the worries and the fears are, you know, they're just in the way, really. Because they really don't even exist. Why? Because the situation is already taken care of. You just don't see how. You just don't see how. Which is understandable. I mean, when you're in the face of um, trials and tribulations and adversity, um, the it's human nature to worry. Okay, that's like the immediate response and reaction. But the thing is to get control of the worry and the frustration and the emotional imbalance, the anxiety, okay, before it leads to any sort of, you know, depression or deeper mental health issues. Why? Because you just have to recreate how you see your current situation. Okay? You have to go within. You have to go within. That's why it's important. To, um, when you have those spiritual gifts where you have, where you, you know, receive premonitions. or you, If you're just a seer or a visionary. I truly feel that it helps you because no matter what situation you're in at that time, God will show you what's along your path, what's in your future, okay, if you just trust him. And with seeing that, you know that no matter what you know or how you feel about your current situation, that in some way, shape, or form, it will be better than where you're currently at. Because he's already showed you a glimpse of your future. So it's like you don't worry about what's in front of you or what you're facing because you already know that it's already done. 11-11, it's already done. You already know that that prayer you sent up, asking spirit to turn it around for you, you already know that it's going to happen. Because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You ain't doing no bullshit and you're still facing trials and tribulations and facing adversity. But that's just life. It's a part of what it is. It's a part of what it is. You, you can't get around it. You can't get around it. Don't even think that money is going to change it. Because money, you can't listen. More money, more freaking problems, okay? So, don't even think that, you know financially that's what you need to get about your situation because no it's deeper than that you feel me because the more money you get the more bullshit gonna come your way the more you're gonna be tested and tried okay because what to whom much is given much is required okay 
You gonna be you gonna be in situations where you wanna you know go in, and you gonna be expected to stand your ground and just you know turn the other cheek and let spirit handle it. So it's like you know. Don't let it get the best of you. Don't let it get the best of you. I know it's hard not to, but don't let it get the best of you. Okay? Now, there could also be um, a masculine energy here that's concerned. He could be messaging you, um, letting you know that he wants to change things. Okay? Someone could be wanting to change after an ending or someone could be moving after an ending that card just started when i said that and there's a oh, what's the name here so that could be someone could be moving okay we got the truth will set you free the truth will set you free when it comes to this lack of justice, okay? False mass. Okay? So whoever this masculine energy is that's concerned, this could be someone that you're being guided not to take a leap of faith with, not to give any justice to. Okay? Why? Because there's some truth here. Something false about this person. Healing heart chakra, hidden intentions and desires. True love stories never end. Okay, so this per this is somebody from your past possibly that doesn't want to end things with you. They want to heal things, okay? But they want to heal things for hidden reasons. They want to heal things for hidden reasons. Yeah, look what I said. Somebody want change. Somebody don't want this. Somebody don't want this relationship to be dead, to be over. They stuck in their head about this. They want to work on it. Okay. But working on this may ha have you stuck at a crossroads. Okay. Because it's something hidden here. Something you don't know the real reason why they want to. They don't want this to be over. And I said the car started up right. Just two cars, right in alignment with with a vehicle. Okay, with movement. So you could be moving away from someone. Okay, because the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Landscaping could be significant. Charles could be significant. Ooh. Observing every action. This person is watching you. They watching you heal. Look, again, hidden intentions and desires, ready to release the love block. They want to come back. You closed off, you blocked off to them, and they want to come back. But why they want to come back, sweet love? Enough for no love. Somebody tired of you not giving them no love, sweet love. Run away, love, love, love. Run away, love, love, love. Healing from heartbreak. This person had you stuck already. You had to heal from them. They had you stuck already. They had you stuck in your feelings. So deep in your feelings. But it's the right because spirit pulled you up. Right up out of them effinies. <laughs> spirit pulled you right up out of them effinies. And told you, ease on down, ease on down, ease on down the road. Okay? Told you to ease on down the road, sweet love. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Okay. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't you worry about a thing. Mm -hmm. 
somebody that's into you feel left out in the cold. Okay. Don't need no hater. In a Well, let's see that, Steven. Mm -hmm. Heavy. Look, nine of swords, energy, anxiety. Look, whoever this person is, whoever this dud is, okay, that always want to hit the road, Jay. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jay. And don't you come back no more. Now they want to come back saying, come on back, Okay. This person realizing that they was making stupid decisions by always hitting the road. Okay, they realizing it now. And now they want to come back saying, let's work on it. Work, 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 okay? This person is, look what this nine of swords is going in. Right here, someone could be 33. Concern. This person is stressed. And see, that's the thing. This person is stressed in their head, okay, over their choices and what they did and their options. And this person uh, doesn't have the ability to manifest, right? I feel like this energy that you're feeling is, is, is theirs. They could be projecting their current energy onto you. Which could be why you're in this privileged lady in reverse energy. Because at the end of the day, you're successful. Spirit is saying it. So Spirit might want you to recognize what's going on here. Okay, for some of you guys, Spirit could be wanting you to recognize this so that you can become more protective of your energy. Okay, look, tires out here. A vehicle is definitely significant. I don't know if this person drive a truck, a motorcycle, a dune buggy, a golf car. I don't know. Uh, what kind of car is this here? This give me a Honda. Maybe a Nissan. Okay. Somebody could have had a flat tire. Went to the tire shop recently. Okay. But I feel like this person is projecting their energy onto you. And spirit may be wanting you to recognize this so that you can become more protective of your energy, you know, doing different, you know, just make sure you up in your protection and doing different things to block this person from, you know what I mean? Block this person from sending that energy your way. And you could end up being the type of person where you're going to teach other people to do that, okay? Or do that for others. Yes, I feel like spirit, like you in the mix of this situation and while this person may be projecting and it what they're projecting may be you know working in some ways or you may be feeling like it just know that if that you know if that's the case it's for a greater purpose it's because spirit wants you to show spirit wants to show you something this is more like a teaching moment for you but you're gonna get through it Okay, come on now, as I say it, <laughs> as I say it, you gonna get through it. Good luck, spirit, you hater, recognition. Okay, 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 okay. You got the haters lurking and definitely do because I, I done got up got on uh youtube earlier 9 30 on the time as i say this confirmation okay could be a fucking libra okay 
the haters was up early lurking. Okay, Papa shit. With the with, with the uh <laughs> with the whole set. Let me tell y'all, sweet love. The the the, the half of the guy in the comments talk about sub. You need a tarot class. Um stop putting messages out the pay. You rent your car. No bitch, do you know me? You probably do know me, and that's probably why you come and say it shit like that, because you wondering, you wondering, you in my fucking business, that's what's going on, that's what's really going on, you in my business, and you being nosy, and you looking, and you lurking, and you wondering... How I do what I do. You wondering how I'm still staying afloat on top of things. You wondering how I ain't losing out just because you don't know what I do. You don't know how I gain what I gain. Why you don't know my business. So you want to probe. You want to antagonize. Okay. Because first of all. You've been looking and lurking. And just got the bulls. The, the, the comment and write something. Because you just created the page. That you was on the YouTube account. Last month. October 21st. 2023 a, a couple weeks ago a month ago so you just got the courage to open your mouth and say something but at the end of the day you know you dealing with baby i was built for this okay i was built for this you better do your research you better do your research and I ain't going to block you because I still want you to get the message and get off that hate train that you want. I still want you to get off that hate train that you want. Okay? Hate and me ain't going to make you rich, bitch. Okay? So, at the end of the day, go play in the playground and don't come in over here playing with sweets. Because I am not the one nor the two. Okay, I'm not the one or the two. Okay, you better know it's unmuted over here. I will call you out. I will. You want the attention? I'm gonna give you your, your 15 seconds in the limelight, and it's gonna be me chewing you up. So play with somebody. Don't play with me. Okay, let me deliver what I'm gonna deliver. How I'm gonna deliver. Let me do spirits work, okay, because cause, cause God already told me, okay, just be you. And God know who I am. He know that I will, <laughs> uh -huh. I will chew you, okay? But I don't like being like that, so I be chilling. But what you ain't going to do is play with me. What you ain't going to do is poke the beard because the beard is always woke, okay? always look okay and that's and that's what the people be mad at okay they they don't like when people wake up and see them for who they are come on now confirmation okay i am intuitive the tic tac whole games the games people play to try to get your attention okay you gotta better go play candy crush on your phone and stop playing with sweets Okay, now, I ain't gonna block you. Just continue to tap in because apparently you like what you see. Okay, you like what you hear. It's resonating and you can't believe it. You're, you're really mind blown. That's the problem. You're really mind blown. Don't worry, I was mind blown when I first uh, saw watching readings and stuff too. I was like, I was mind blown, but I wasn't a hater. I was so thankful for the those readers that I came across. Okay. I was so thankful for those readers, especially uh, when I was watching Shorty and she said my name three times in two weeks. Okay, straight off the top of her dome. 
I was thankful for that acknowledgement that spirit was letting me know I was being seen, okay, and that I was being divinely guided. So if you know like I know, don't waste your time coming on my channel trying to poke the beat and trying to knock me off my path because it ain't going to work. A little bit more. It ain't going to work, okay? So come on over, get the message, get what your spirit got for you, okay? Get divinely guided and spread love and light, okay? And then if I got to address... Mr. Peabody and Sherman, again, you will be blocked. And I'm going to leave it at that. So we got good luck. You're manifesting nothing but good luck. Everything you put your mind to will flourish and go smoothly for you. Keep going, keep growing, and miracles will show up. And this is what I said. If y'all in your head, y'all worry. Listen, spirit got the right path for you, okay? It's helping you. This is that being divinely guided. Okay, you're going to have good luck. And you know this. Spirit, you hate That's why they mad because you intuitive as hell. That's why they mad. That's why they're going to start trolling and popping shit and trying to duplicate your energy and steal your work because they realize how intuitive you are. They see it. Okay? Spirit hid you. Spirit kept you in the darkness and now he bringing you to the forefront. Step into the light, Caroline. Okay, recognition. The spotlight is on you. Not only will you accomplish your goals and come out on top, but others will also recognize your success. You fought a good fight. Yeah, you may be feeling like the, the unprivileged lady right now, but the whole time you successful, you don't even know you about to step into the spotlight and shake shit up. Okay, spirit about to shake shit up for you, okay? It's turning around for me. It's moving and it's breaking. I still got my morning voice, sweet loves. Don't worry about it. Okay, my bad. All right. But it's turning around, sweet loves. Okay. You better be ready for it. Y'all know I love big baby. You better be ready. Okay. Said I always heard that voice in the back of my, my head saying, you better be ready. Okay, that little voice in the back of his head, okay, that was his high self, letting him know, you're going to be great. He said, I already knew I was going to be great. I am successful. Spirit is reminding you and letting you know you're going to be successful. It's just a journey you got to travel to get there. Are you ready for it? Okay, because it's going to come with some hidden truths. It's going to come with the exposure of the games being played around you. Okay? But that's only, it's only going to be exposed because you got to clear that up. Because when spirit taking you, you can't have none of that nonsense. You can't have none of that. Is you kidding me? You can't have none of that goofiness around you. Okay, yeah, because he's moving you. Okay, he's moving you. Okay, some of you guys could have been trapped. Okay, some of you guys could have been trapped in a, the, a, the same location, a mindset. Okay. For some of you guys, I do strongly feel like this is um, a location. You know, some of y'all could have been trapped in a hood on some shit. Like, you know, you ain't never leaving the hood. You ain't trying to expand your horizons and move elsewhere. You staying where you comfortable at, okay? Some of y'all could have been scared to relocate. But spirit is letting you know the truth about these people. So you're going to want to get away from these motherfuckers. You feel me? Because he going to expose all their asses, okay? He going to tell you the truth about everybody. And all the games they was playing, you're going to be like, man, I'm out. What? Spirit, I changed my mind. I know I used to say I love the hood. I ain't never leaving the hood, man. Get me up out of here ASAP. That's how you're going to be coming. <laughs> That's how you're going to be coming, sweet love. So we got, I am intuitive. I know that all the wisdom I need to make the right decisions lies within me. Okay, come on now. Go within. Go within and talk to your higher self. Connect with your higher self and get that information that you need to get, baby. Okay, and carry out those plans so you can get out of this energy of feeling, you know, like you can't manifest. Okay, because they ain't even your energy. Yeah, exactly. Self-sabotage. And they ain't even your energy. That's just creep over here. That's mad because you ended things with them. That's how they feel. Okay, now they want to be all up in your business. Okay, they want to be in your business. Why? Because... They see you, and people starting to see you for who you are, okay? Some of you guys could have some sort of, 
you know, spiritual practices or work that you do with this recognition and spiritual aid and I am intuitive, okay? And some of y'all could be self-sabotaging, you know, not trusting your intuition. Chill, bruh. You're going to be all right. There's going to be some sort of change in your home or possibly moving into a new location. Get ready to explore your new environment, okay? Confirmation, okay? One of my um, intuitive beings had a vision of relocation. So, you know, I know that my kids get messages for other people as well, okay? So, yeah. Okay? It's, it, it's out there for you. It's out there for you. It's in the cards for you. They definitely can see things that are going to happen with and for other people. Hey, y'all going to receive some sort of money. Ooh, give a money, six of wands, and good news. Some of y'all about to receive some sort of money. All right. Um... Somebody definitely could be trying to give y'all, or you could be receiving or getting some sort of message about money. But that's what I have for you guys, sweet loves. I hope you guys enjoyed this read, okay? For my loving, loyal supporters, I'm sorry y'all had to hit me blast somebody ass like that. But yeah, I just had to, you know, get them their little time, but... Other than that, I love y'all. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of y'all for tapping in with your girl sweets, okay, on a regular and consistent basis, okay? If you're interested in the person who's reading, my information is in the description box below, okay? Don't forget to click that like button as well as that post notification bell so that you're notified each and every time I go live and each and every time I upload a new video, as well as that subscribe button, baby, because we are on the road to 144K, okay? So, we're having a driver's seat with your home, go straight, and help us get there. Good day, sweet loves.